boys and girls, we're going to be reading Animal Groups, and it's written by James Bruchak. And here is James Bruchak. And he lo loves to write stories, but he also loves to tell stories. He also is an animal tracker. That means he hunts them down. And if you want to go out into the wild, he'll take you because he's a wilderness guide. And he's written other books before with his dad. And one of the books is called How Chipmunk Got His Stripes. I wonder how Chipmunk got his stripes. I might read that book. And Turtles Race with Beaver. This is an informational story. This is informational text. So we're just going to be reading facts and, um, and looking at photographs. And remember, this is in our grade one textbook. Last story. So I'm going to read it to you and then we'll look at some words and we'll read it together and then we'll answer some questions. So the name of the story is Animal Groups and so it shows you five of the groups. There's lots of groups of animals. Like they put them into groups according to how how they are. Like if you have a feathers and wings and you lay eggs then you you're in the bird group if you have fur and you give your babies milk you're you're an animal that gets to be in the mammal group if you were born in the water and you had gills and smooth skin and but then when you grew up you you grew lungs and you lived on land then you get to be put in the amphibian group and this is the fish group Fish have scales, they lay eggs, and they have gills, which you can't see, but the water goes through them, through the gills, and takes out the oxygen they need to live. And, and the fish also have fins. And then um, there's the reptile group, and those are land animals that have scales and lay eggs, and they're cold-blooded. Actually, all of these are cold-blooded. That means whatever temperature the air is, that's going to be the temperature of their bodies. Birds and mammals can keep their bodies warm even when it is cold. You know, the inside of your mouth is warm. But when it's cold, the inside of their mouths are cold. And they're super slow. Like, um, what the, the colder it gets, the slower they are. And these kind of amphibians... Um, we can catch them. When it's cold in December and we go to some property we know about, we catch them because they're so slow you can. And they just sort of like walk really slow. They're cold-blooded, just like fish and reptiles are. So now I'm just going to read. Let's take a look at five animal groups. How are animals in a group the same? Oh, there's a fish. It looks like they have a diagram with all his body parts. Like there's a fin, there's his eye, mouth, gill, fin, tail. Fish must live in water. Fish have gills that help them breathe in water. They're actually breathing in oxygen, but the water's going in. Oh, they, oh, oh I see what it's saying. Fish have gills that help them breathe in water. Okay, that's a little bit different. Fish have fins and tails. Those help them swim. So I guess we have to remember that fish they have to have gills, they have to have fins, they have to have tails, and they can only live in water. Look at that fish. Do you see him? Fish can be many shapes and sizes. Can you find a fish in this picture? Oh, I already showed you. Oh, here's another diagram. This is going to give us information about this group. Reptiles can live on land. Some like to be in water. Reptiles have scales on their skin. So they can live on land. Okay. Um, fish can't, but reptiles can. And just like fish, they have scales. And they sh even show you a picture of the scales. And this reptile has a tail. He has an eye. And it's showing you that he has legs. 
reptiles. Some other reptiles are turtles and hmm, snakes. They have scales. They're cold-blooded. I don't know if you know that, but they are cold-blooded. Many reptiles hatch from eggs. And here we have a little baby turtle hatching from his egg. Snakes cannot walk. They do not have legs. This snake slides its long body on the grass. So why are we talking about snakes and tur turtles? Because just like this alligator or crocodile, it, they are reptiles. They have scales. And this sea turtle has to go up and breathe air. It doesn't have gills like the fish do, or it would be a fish. It's a reptile. Okay, now we're going to talk about amphibians. Amphibians are another animal group when they're babies. Well, let's just read. Amphibians spend time both on land and in water. They do not have scales. Their skin is wet. So even though he looks like he has really rough skin, they're not scales. This is a toad. This is a frog. And it says amphibians hatch from eggs. Tadpoles hatch and grow to be frogs. So all amphibians actually hatch from eggs in water. And sometimes the water might be inside of a flower, like if it's in a rainforest. But they hatch in water. They have gills. And they can swim around in it until they get bigger and they, and they develop lungs to go out onto land to catch all their, their dinner. Okay, here's another group. This one says birds. Here's a diagram. Okay, this says I bill. A bill is a beak. Wing. A wing is a part of the, your body that lets you fly. And the feathers, well, uh, that's what covers a bird's body. I don't know how to describe them. So a bird has feathers and wings. This bird's eyes are on the sides of its face. And it shows you some more birds on this page. So birds have to have feathers and wings. Right? But like penguins and ostriches, they don't fly with their wings. As a matter of fact, penguins swim with their wings. But the point is they have wings and they have feathers. That's why they're considered birds. Many birds can fly. Some can run, like this ostrich, or swim fast, like the penguins. Here's another bird. Mrs. Gillum has five of these kind of birds. They're hens, and they're called Rhode Island Red Reds. They're not chihuahuas. You know, they're not, I don't know what other kind of hens there are, but these are Rhode Island Red Hens. Birds hatch from eggs. This hen made a nest for its eggs. Oh, look. This hen is like my hen. It lays brownish or like tannish colored eggs. Okay, so we talked about birds. Let's talk about the animal group called mammals. So what characteristics do the animals in this group have? It says, well, let's just look at his, this diagram. This is his tail. That's that skinny part that goes out the end of their body. This is his hair. We call it a mane, but showing that he has hair because mammals have hair. It's showing his eye, and it's showing his legs. Not all mammals have tails. Th this is just a diagram of, an, of the different body parts of this mammal. Mammals can be many shapes and sizes. They have hair on their skin. 
So I like the, the labels in this diagram that tell us his different body parts. Okay, let's see what else. Wh what kind of mammals are these? Panda bears, you're right. A mammal mom can make milk for its baby. Oh, the baby drinks milk. The mom eats some food and the baby drinks milk. And maybe he also eats some food because babies can drink milk and eat food. Some of them. Lots of mammals live on land, but some live in water. Okay, so it looks like this raccoon and these pandas live on land, but these otters, who also have hair and g can give milk to their babies, they c live all their lives in the water. They have to like go up for air, but they even sleep there. They just like wrap some seaweed around their bodies so that they don't go floating off and then they just float there on top of the ocean while they're sleeping. It says, did you know that you are a mammal too? Remember, remember mammals have hair? Well, we have hair. And, and mammals also give milk to their babies. All right. So let's go. Let me see if there's any more. Nope. So let's go back. Um, we'll read the sight words. And... Then we'll read. Then we'll read the story together. So the words that are colored yellow in this book are on your test on Friday. This word says walk. It has the silent L. Those. The E makes the O say its name. O, oh, O's. Those. I like those pig piglets. Long long. Sometimes these videos get pretty long. Eyes. Like all the animals we talked about have eyes. Or. Do you want cake? Or cookies. We're going to see these, so let's learn them now. Both. Both. Both of my legs are sore from running so much yesterday. Fly. Like an airplane can fly or a bird can fly. Birds. Um, they showed us several birds in this story. Okay, so now you get to read it with me. Let's go to the beginning page. Do you need, remember the name of our story? Animal groups. Do you remember who wrote the story? What was his name? James Bruchak. Okay, I'll bet you can read these labels. Ready? Begin. Fish. Reptile. Amphibian, amphibian. Bird. Mammal. Okay, let's read these. Do it with your fingers underneath the words. You're only paying attention to the words. Ready, go. Let's take a look at five animal groups. How are animals in a group the same. Okay, well fish are the same because they're in the water and they have fins and can breathe down there. Okay, ready? Go. Fish must live in water. Fish have gills that help them breathe in water. Fish have fins and tails. Those help them swim. Okay, let's read all the labels in this diagram, starting right here. Fin. 
I mouth gill another fin tail fish can be many shapes and sizes can you find a fish in this picture okay that was that group now we're going on to the reptiles group so for the next three we're just going to talk about animals that have scales and who can live on land they have lungs so they have to breathe air even if they live in the water they have to breathe air okay it says reptiles okay let's go ahead and read the the labels in this diagram scales that's an up close of what these are tail eye legs. Reptiles can live on land. Some like to be in water. Reptiles, oopsie, I just began reading that without you being able to see. I hope I didn't do that on this page too. Reptiles can live on land. Some like to be in water. Reptiles have scales on their skin. So they don't have they don't have fur, they don't have feathers. They have scales. 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 Many reptiles hatch from eggs. Snakes cannot walk. They do not have legs. This snake slides its long body on the grass. Amphibians. Eye, wet skin, legs, Remember, they're the ones that their mommies lay eggs in the water and when they hatch their little tadpoles. But when they grow up, they um, grow lungs. At be the beginning, they have gills. At the end, they have lungs. And then they can breathe on land. Amphibians spend time both on land and in water. They do not have scales. Their skin is wet. This is tadpoles. Amphibians hatch from eggs. Tadpoles hatch and grow to be frogs. And they also hatch and grow to be tad to, to be toads and salamanders, which we saw way over here. Those are all amphibians, salamanders, toads, and frogs. Okay, we're done talking about fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Now we're going to talk about the group of animal called birds. Okay, let's read all the labels in this diagram. Ready? Go. I, bill, wing, feathers. A bird has feathers and wings. This bird's eyes are on the sides of its face. Like we have both our eyes on the front of our face, but they like have them by their ears, which you can't see because they're covered, little, they're little holes covered with feathers. But that's where their eyes are next to their ears on either side of their head. Many birds can fly. Some can run or swim fast, like these penguins. They had to swim fast to catch their fish that they were going to eat, 
And they had to swim fast to stay away from polar bears or whatever likes to eat penguins. Here's another bird. Birds hatch from eggs. This hen made a nest for its eggs. That is a big nest for its eggs. Okay, so we're done talking about uh, we're talking done talking about fish and reptiles. We're done talking about amphibians and birds. So now we're going to talk about the group called mammals. Let's read all of these in the diagram. I hair, tail, legs. Mammals can be many shapes and sizes. They have hair on their skin. They don't have feathers, they don't have scales. A mammal mom can make milk for its baby. Lots of mammals live on land, but some live in water. Otters live in water, and they're mammals. Did you know that you are a mammal too? Okay, here's our questions. How are all mammals alike? Okay, do you remember? They all have hair on them, and they all can give milk to their babies. Okay, how are fish different from mammals? Okay, well, fish are covered in scales, right? We're not covered, ma mammals that are not covered with scales Mammals are covered with with hair or with fur. And, and if you look closely at your skin, especially if you're an adult, you'll be able to see hairs coming out of your skin. Okay, so fish have scales and mammals have hair. Fish have gills and mammals have lungs, which we don't have a picture of them, but if you take a deep breath where all the air is going in your body are your lungs, and we have those. They don't. Fish don't. Also, fish lay eggs, or at least many fish do, but humans, we just, we don't lay eggs. Humans, and other mammals, we don't lay eggs. We have our babies alive. But that didn't really cover that in the story. I just wanted to give you a heads up for future grades. What are the five animal groups? Okay, well, I can be resourceful and look at this page. The five animal groups that we talked about are fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. And what new things did you learn? I don't know what you learned that was new. You just have to answer that for yourself. All right, boys and girls, that was a long video, but I enjoyed reading that story with you. Bye-bye.